Politicians. The recent death and subsequent funeral of Lady Thatcher showed how polarising politics can be. Her time in office and influence on the world political stage was during a critical period of European history. However, her role in Britain was surrounded by controversy and this was reflected in the reaction to her death. I've been reading about some of the things that she did and it inspired me to find out how many deaf politicians there have been in Britain and what they had campaigned for. A quick search of Wikipedia brought up 12 deaf politicians, four of whom were British, two Canadians, five Europeans and one New Zealander. They span six centuries. The first being Yuri Uglitch in the 15th century, the brother of Ivan the Terrible. In Britain, the first is Francis Mackenzie, first Baron Seaforth. A military man who became a Member of Parliament for Ross County in Scotland in the 1780s and 90s. He later became Governor of Barbados, working to reform slavery and discrimination on the island. The next one was during Thatcher's time. Dame Kathleen Olorenshaw was an educational advisor to the government after being the Lord Mayor of Manchester and councillor for Rushholm. More recently, we had Jack Ashley and Emma Nicholson, both of whom were elected members of parliament and subsequently life peers. Jack Ashley was a tireless disability campaigner and founded Defeating Deafness, now Deafness Research UK. Emma Nicholson has been campaigning for human rights, particularly of children. All of these deaf politicians have created lasting legacies, but what about the next generation of politicians? How easy is it for deaf people to become politicians? The Access to Elected Office for Disabled People Fund was set up in 2012 and provides grants to individuals who want to be considered for selection or to stand in an election. The fund has recently been increased to £20,000 and is available for additional disability related costs such as interpreters. This is an important fund making it possible for everyone to have equal access to becoming a member of parliament. In 250 years we have had four notable deaf politicians. Let's hope that this fund means that in the next election we have more deaf candidates and subsequently four or more deaf politicians in the next parliamentary term alone.